क्वेश्चन नंबर टू चैप्टर वन ए पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू डीज विद कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ गोल्ड लीफ इलेक्ट्रोस्कोप वट इज एन इलेक्ट्रोस्कोप इलेक्ट्रोस्कोप इज डिवाइस टू चेक वेदर अ बॉडी इज चार्ज और नॉट वन टू वेदर इट इज पॉजिटिवली चार्ज और नेगेटिवली चार्ज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव इज अ डेस्क मेटेलिक डेस्क देन यू हैव अ रॉड एंड एट द एंड यू हैव लीव्स एंड दीज लीव्स आर पेवेटेड when we say it is pivoted means it is this arrangement that leaves can move there are two leaves they can move away like this flexible arrangement at this point means leaves can move so what you have one is disc this is metallic rod and here you have leaves and there is a glass enclosure insulated glass enclosure and you can see through the glass whether the leaves move towards each other that is whether this angle theta increases or decreases by measuring or knowing this angle increase or decrease you will come to know whether the incoming rod is positive or negative so <clears throat> what is a gold leaf electroscope it is a device which is used to detect whether a incoming object is charged or not one two whether it is positively charged or negatively charged in the construction part what you have is disc metallic disc rod leaves and surrounding this you have glass enclosure so this is your question number 2 a part construction of gold leaf electroscope question number 2 b part case 1 gold leaf electroscope is a neutral and we bring a rod which is a positive charge how it is going to behave so the first part again disc rod and leaves if it is neutral positive charge is equal to negative charge and i should draw this it is when you say it is neutral net charge is zero so the leaves will stay making an angle almost equal to zero degree because there is no charge means there is no attraction or repulsion between the leaves so the leaves stay as it is the angle between the two leaves is zero now when you bring a positively charged rod nearby if you bring a positively charged rod nearby then you bring a positively charged rod nearby then what will happen electrons are negatively charged and are mobile they can move so electrons from leaves and rod will move upward so the disc the upper part becomes negatively charged 
and because these leaves are deficient in negative charge, so positive charge is collected at the leaves. That means positive, 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 some positive charge here also. But more negative charge near the disc. So negative charge, when you bring this rod, which is a positively charged, will attract the electron cloud upwards. So leaves become positively charged and they repel each other. There is angle theta which is in the two. If you increase this charge, this angle theta will also increase. That is how you test this when this rod is positively charged. Case number two, gold leaf electroscope is positively charged and you bring a rod nearby which is also positively charged. So, if the gold leaf electroscope is positively charged, that means what? Net charge on the total body is positive. Means positive charge is more than negative charge. Say positive charge one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight positive charge and four, one, two, three, four, four negative charge. So how many positive charges? Eight. How many negative? Four. What is the net charge on this positive charge? That is why this angle is some value, say theta. Now, when you bring a rod nearby, which rod? The rod is also positively charged. When you bring this rod nearby, positively charged, it will attract the electron cloud upwards. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many negative charges were there? 1, 2, 3, 4. This was the value. In this case, when a negative charge moves upwards, you can say these leaves become more positively charged. Earlier it was 2 plus 2, this was also plus 2. Here it is plus 3, this also plus 3. What was the total number of plus charges? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. More positive charge in the leaves will mean what? This angle changes from theta to theta dash and this is more than original angle theta. So, <clears throat> in case number two, electroscope is positively charged. That means net charge on this is positive. You bring a rod which is positively charged. When you bring this rod which is positively charged, it will attract the electron cloud upwards. So, leaves have come more positively charged in comparison to the previous case. This positive positive will repel more. Earlier the force was say F. Now this force will be F dash which is more than F. So this angle theta dash becomes more than theta. Case number 3 is gold leaf electroscope is positively charged and a rod, in this case, there is a change. You bring a negative 
rod nearby then how it will change so initial status is again this is gold leaf electroscope which is positively charged angle between the two is say theta say 30 degree you bring a rod which rod this time yes negatively charged when you bring a negatively charged rod nearby then it will repel the electron cloud downwards when it will repel the electron cloud downwards that is this blue color this will move to the leaves if this negative charge moves to the leaf positive charge on the leaf will decrease how earlier there were one two on this two on this now it is one on this and one on this total is one two three four five six seven eight three four five six seven eight negative charge is one two three four so earlier the charge between the two was plus two on this plus two on this now it is plus one on this and plus one on this so this force f dash will be less than f charge decreases so force between the two leaves also decreases so now this theta dash angle will come out to be less than theta say 15 degrees so the angle changes from 30 degree to 15 degree so if a gold leaf electroscope is positively charged and you bring a negative rod nearby angle between the two 